the kids have signed on, they are looking at an aerial image of Ghana and they are going to unpick that aerial image of Ghana and try and put people on the map for the first ever time. So these are communities that are at risk from natural hazards. Uh, today we're looking at flood risk um, and these are communities that have never been put on an open source map before. So that's probably a shadow, which means that the building's going to be quite high up. It'll be the first session they've ever done, so they're doing a tutorial at the moment which is actually remapping an area of the US where there's some really clear aerial imagery. Um, so depending on how quickly they get through that, we'll see how much of Ghana we do. So we click area and then we click the points. It makes the size of the building really neat so they can see exactly where it is. And then we put hashtag purse in the comment section so we can see how much us as a school have contributed. So this evening we've been mapping an area of Ghana which hasn't been mapped before. We're just looking at the points and finding where the buildings are and then labelling them as buildings and saving it. It seems like a really good thing to do and would actually have a direct influence right now and immediate impacts and really help the lives of people there if aid workers needed to find people and buildings quickly. It's pretty simple, you just find an area that hasn't been mapped before, click on it, zoom in, just label the buildings. Our one is quite easy at the moment but I'm sure they'll get harder. <laughs> It's amazing to see so many people come out for our first Mapathon. Um, I hope you've had fun tonight. It's Mapathons like tonight that make a difference in places like Haiti, in places like Puerto Rico, where maps are needed immediately after events. So people will use these. There will be people sat in relief tents around the world who are using the mapping that you have done today uh, and they will be thanking their lucky stars that people have given up time to help them out in the field.